Good afternoon, my name is Susan Barto and I live at 2637 Bayshore Parkway uh, in Indian Bayou. Four and a half years ago, my husband and I bought our house on Bayshore Parkway. We lived in Vermont prior to that and had always vacationed at the beach and we knew that one day we'd want to live near the ocean. <clears throat> Excuse me, once we moved here full time, I spent nearly every day, a lot of time nearly every day, out in my kayak on the bayou, enjoying the abundance of fish and birds. It was everything I wanted. A year and a half ago, that changed. The construction on the I-10 highway began, and with that came red clay sediment pouring into the bayou every time it rained. Slowly but surely, the bayou was being choked of its life. In spring of 2016, a group from the neighborhood came together to voice our concerns to anyone who would listen. All we got in return was one organization placing blame on another and no explanation or solution being presented. As we were having little to no luck getting answers, we tried getting attention through the media. We were told by water management and FDOT that talking to the press would only harm our cause. And so we continued voicing our concerns through the bureaucratic route, having meeting, meetings with various agencies. We still had no results. Our bayou was dying and no one cared except us. We returned to the media in hopes that someone would sit up and take notice. We now have your attention. I hope something can be done to bring Indian Bayou back to life. Removing the sediment and reopening the water flows within the bayou seems like the right place to start. At the very least, I trust that something can be done in order to keep other bodies of water and the lives, and by lives I mean the fish and the birds and the other bayou life that depend upon them, protected and preserved for future generations. Thank you. Thank you.